Hey, hello, sir. I'm just making a quick video uh, about the macros that you can actually edit. They're, they are pretty easy to do. Uh, I mean, if you've seen some files or macro files that have the seal screen on top of the of the pads, if you don't want that, uh, you can uh, actually edit the macro really easily. Uh, I already did it before, but I was making a video and uh, my recording, my microphone was not working, so <laughs> I had to make the video again. All right, I'm going to I'm going to show you right quick how to do it. I already did it a couple of times, but because my microphone was not working <laughs> at all, so uh, here uh, on this one, this is the older file that I make a couple of years ago, probably two years ago, and uh, I was really artistic guy, and uh, I was place uh, drawings and stuff on top of the of the the pads. Uh, this does not need, does not need to be present on the macro. It's not really needed. It's way too artistic. <laughs> so right now I'm going to split the group. Right now I, I just right click, split the group, and then I'm going to delete these unnecessary uh, seal screen files on this uh, macro. Uh, this is a few clip uh, that I use on some of my projects and it works perfectly. So it's really good. So right now let me see if I can edit this so. In, to a boy ah that's look pretty good I like that I like that so I kind of really artistic guy that's why I'm going to edit this oh sorry about that don't worry about it so I'm going to move there you go that looks pretty good that looks pretty good and then I'm going to select all the f this file from the whole thing is going to turn into a a pink color so that means that all files, the seal screen and the pad, they are all selected to create one macro. So right now I'm going to build the group and it's ready to go. Uh, the thickness of the, the seal screen, you can actually edit if you want to. You want to make it a little thicker, you can do that. You can also, also, also do that. So right now I'm going to edit that. You can make it really thick really, or lower, de depending on your taste. I mean, you want to make it really thick or less thicker so I always like it to about 0 0.40 looks pretty good and then after you complete it I mean if you are going to make a, a a true pad that means that it will have solder on both sides of the pad I already turn it into true pad it's gonna look like this it's gonna look like a that it will have solder on top so you can see it have solder on top after you done that is complete and you you want to use this particular macro you can save it and then you will uh, click it here or well, you see like a little floppy disk uh, I already select the macro that I want to save into my micro directory so the only thing you gotta do is save it and I'm not gonna do it right now because it's gonna, it's gonna take a, like a five minutes because I got many macros that I have to delete because they are older files that I have so I forgot to do that so I'm going to do it r anyway I'm uh, going to that one dash one and then I'm gonna call a fuse clip test just to show you and then I'm gonna say that uh, the file it, it, it's gonna like uh, take a while because I got a lot of uh, macros so let me wait okay there you go there you go so now I have that file that is already saved it and then you can use it as many times as you want one sample this is a fuse clip that I just made make did i say that right make or <laughs> may or make <laughs> make anyway so i made this one here and it's ready to go i can duplicate it if i want to i can duplicate it to use a pcb uh, audio amplifier whatever it's ready to go and you will do the same thing with all this other files that because i have many files here that i need to to update uh, right now this is this is a good fuse clip that i used before uh, for the plastic one that has like a like a casing. This is a pretty good uh, a macro uh, So all the files that you probably want to a uh, oh Damn, <laughs> I got a honey badger there some other files that you want you probably want to edit those So yeah, I already I already sent you the the, the link so you can download the files, please. There are some files here uh, one sample let me see. This this one is good. This one you don't need to edit this one here. As you can see, uh, you can turn it into true pad. No problem. There is no seal screen on top of the pad. 
So it's good. It's good to go. All right, that's it, sir. Um, I hope you 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 find this file useful. Uh, you can uh, you can edit these files if you want to. One example, this one here uh, is more intended for single layer, but you can actually uh, uh, split the group. Uh, if you don't want the the full screen on top of the the pad, you can just delete these files. I mean, these full screen uh, lines if you don't want that. So you can move it around. And this is the. Oh, I need to move this. Oh, okay. I forgot. Forgot that I changed the the grid. Zero point twenty five. That's okay. So you can move. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I forgot this. There you go. So you, you can move that. If you don't want it. For example, you can just place a line. That's cool. I'm gonna place a line here. One sample. This is the line. There you go. All right. I can make that was, This is too thick. Zero point twenty. So it's gonna look something like this. I mean, you don't. If you want the this pad to have solder on both sides, and you don't want the two screen on top. All right. That's it. <laughs> I think you already got it. You think you already got it. All right, guy. Uh, sir, have a good day. I say, guy. What the hell? <laughs> All right. Have a good day, sir.